in the TV Canada, um, not the result you wanted. Was there one specific specific area of the game that you felt your team wasn't able to execute? Uh, we had to switch up the coverages a bit. They uh, they were shooting it really well from three, which. Uh, I think early on kind of spooked us a bit. So then we opened up the paint a little bit, which was able to let them get downhill and kick it out for even better threes. So we'll just do a better job at the point of attack defense to try and keep everybody a bit more square, which hopefully won't open up as many threes next time out. Down the stretch, it looked like miscommunication on some rotations. Was that a bigger issue than you thought it would be? Uh, maybe, yeah. I thought down the stretch, a lot of it was the offensive end, too. We got really stagnant. Um, the ball was moving really slow, which kind of which hurt us. Uh, Christian Coloco showed some finesse, and nice touch around the basket, a little hook shot inside the paint. I mean, how happy are you uh, for him uh, to show this extra bit of skill uh, while he's down here? Yeah, he's got great touch. Um, it's tough in a game like that, where on one end he's guarding a shooting five, and the other end they're switching almost everything with him. Um, so he's got to figure out ways to score out of that. And, to your point, he showed some nice touch on those duck-ins and able to catch it and, and finish those hook shots over some smaller guys. And when they were posting up uh, Sean next to the end of the game, so as a coach, did you find yourself in a bind? Like, what, what do I do here? Do I send the double because he's finding guys, or do I leave him posting up an undersized person? Did you find yourself, like, I don't know if it's a decision or not, but no. to me, I was like, what, 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 do, what would I do? I don't know. No. Uh, we have our game plan, and we execute it. We. Uh, we were supposed to be doubling him even more aggressively than what we did, and then flying out. Um, Christian got caught on the perimeter a few times and not ready to make it the rotations because it's not a position he's necessarily used to. So everybody's got to be able to to make the rotations, whether they're the one doubling on the ball or, or flying around. Nicholas Kwan from Long Point Basketball. Uh, Delano Banton was very aggressive with the shot today. He went uh, 8 of 24. Uh, is that something that you him to do, keep up that aggression, or do you want to see him that in the future? Uh, neither, necessarily. Uh, the game will dictate how he should play, for sure. Um, a lot of this is for his development, though, so he's just got to be conscious of there's probably not going to be a ton of Raptors games. He takes 24 shots, so just realize how to play a role that could also get him more minutes with the Raptors as well. Yeah, it was an awesome crowd today. They were really loud when uh, Samanish was shooting the free throws down the stretch. I looked up and everybody's wearing their capes and cheering super loud. And then to set the Guinness record, super cool. And overall, just such a good cause. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> I should have. I, I didn't think about that. They can have mine. Hawkins a main guy too. But I guess you know what's he shown you the last couple of games? Not just shooting three point shots, hustle plays, getting stuff around the basket. He showed you something more than if you've noticed that um, he showed you in the first half of the season. What what has he shown you? Uh, not necessarily. He's just getting more accustomed to the speed of the game. Uh, he was at a D two school for a while and then had one year at a, a major school and then is straight into this. So as a rookie, it's, it's a pretty big acceleration. Two years ago, he was at a D2. But like everywhere he's gone, he's won. Um, and that's no different here. He, he plays super hard. He plays winning basketball. And he just plays the right way. Yeah, it was such a good atmosphere. Uh, the fans have been awesome pretty much every game. And then today was obviously one of the louder crowds and one of the bigger crowds. But it's such a good environment. It's such a great, um, what a great thing they put together um, to support Holland Blue Review and, and to set the, the world record at the same time. So yeah, it was, it was awesome.